Alright guys, so I'm now in the city. Um, my cousin and I, Nicole, there she is. Hey. Uh, we had just um, went through, we've just gone through the Queen Victoria Market. I did like a whole little walkthrough vlog. Um, that vlog should be up before this video. Um, but now we're going to make our way to Camberwell. We're going to go um, have a really, well I wouldn't say a late lunch, but like it's like one o'clock, a lunch at this cafe that I had approached and yeah, we're gonna go check out their food. It's going to be an experience. I am hungry. My cousin is very hungry as well very, because very we went inside and <laughs> there was a lot of food. I myself for this. <laughs> yes, yes. And then we were walking around, there was like a lot of hot food as well. And it was, she was like, I really wanna get something but I don't wanna spoil my appetite. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna go get some food and then we'll come back to the city and then we'll get some bubble tea. And I'm gonna do another vlog. It's gonna be a very busy day for me. So yeah, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. So we're here at Prospect Espresso and ooh, got coffee. Thank you. That was perfect timing. So we're here at this cafe. Um, I was invited by PR to try out their food and their coffee, of course, because Melbourne coffee is... So I've got my cousin obviously here. We're going to try out the food and we're going to give our opinion on the food here. I just love that. I love the environment here. It's definitely one of those... Um, suburban cafes that's just got this really nice chilled relaxed vibe guys the food is here oh my gosh I have got my chicken Rex burger I think it's called look at that looks so good and then I'll show you what Nicole ordered so Nicole ordered the big breakfast oh my gosh look at that the egg is like really nice and fluffy too Probably just ruined my lipstick, but it's so <laughs> worth it. All right, guys, I have given up with the burger. Not because it isn't good, because my stomach has shrunk from my diet. I can't actually eat anymore. Like, I think I did a fair amount. Like, I've eaten three-fourths of the burger. It's a huge burger, mind you. It's a decent sized like, chicken breast as well. So I think I'm gonna tap out because I don't wanna overeat, um, but it's so good. It's so good. If only my stomach would allow me, I would devour this whole thing. Um, thank you again, Prospect Espresso, for letting us try your delicious food. It's amazing, and I just really like the atmosphere here. It's very nice and chilled. Honestly, kind of reminds me of a little, a little cafe in Japan. Like it's got that very homely, um, it's got that very nice homely feel to it, um, but still relaxed. So, yeah, a Japanese cafe is how I would say it feels like. And there's my cousin. She's still going well with her food. It's a big breakfast. I'm actually starting to get full as well. Yeah, I think she's only gone through half as well. <laughs> It's decent servings, and you guys saw the prices as well. It's all decently priced, like yeah. just twenty dollars, just under, I think. Yeah. So 
here. It's all decently priced. And the coffee, uh, coffee in Melbourne is always so good. I ordered an almond cap cappuccino. Um, so good. I had a little bit of sugar just because of habit, but I think that coffee didn't really need any sugar because it was just that good and it's sweet and creamy. Alright guys, so we have finished our meals. Um, I've gone for the chips. Um, Nicole has helped me with the burger. She tried it out. And that's what she's done to her food. She's done, she's done a pretty good job, I have to say. <laughs> like, it, it's a decent amount of food that she's eaten. Um, so this cafe is about to close soon. So I'm just going to see if I can go to the toilet. And then we're going to see if we can catch a tram to go back into the city. Because now we're going to go... Um, get some milk tea from Milk Shop because again, got an invite. Thank, very thankful. And then I'm gonna go check out a couple of stores in the city. Okay, so we're now in the city. That was a very nice long tram ride. I think it was a very long tram ride. What do you think? Oh yeah. Yeah, we had a very decent talk because it was very quiet. So we just pretty much just chatted the whole way. I don't know. Were we loud? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think we're loud when we're together, though. I think so. Because we're family, so we're always loud. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're now um, in the city. We're walking along Collins Street, um, which is sort of like the fanciest street here in the Melbourne CBD area. You've yeah. got all like these very... Um, I'd say like designer label um, shops and stuff and restaurants and hotels. Anyway, we're going to go walk along um, Elizabeth Street. We're going to go check out Milksha. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, so Milksha is a Taiwanese um, bubble tea um, that's available here in Melbourne. So I got invited and we're going to go try out something. We're both going to try out some of the bubble tea from there. I'm so excited. Um, I don't know what flavor I'll have. Actually, no, I, I'm still full. Yeah. <laughs> Are you still, still full? I'm still pretty full from yeah. our late um, lunch. Yep. That was a lot of food, though. It was a lot. That was a lot of food. Alright, we'll go make our way. I'd say four people. I think, yeah. Well, I don't know. I've got a small stomach. <laughs> Let's arrive at Milksha. So this is what it looks like on the outside. It's a nice, very minimalistic sort of like um, bubble tea place, I have to say. I've walked past it a couple of times. I've never actually gone in. But like I said, I got an invite. So we're going to go in, um, order some bubble tea, try it out. So excited. So we finished at Milk Shah, that was so good. So again, I got the um, taro milk tea, and then my cousin got the Volvara. Volrona. Vergara. Volrona. Volrona, it's really good. Oh, it was really nice. It wasn't too sweet either. No. You can adjust your sweetness how you like Yeah, you can adjust a bit. I think mine was fixed, because it said fixed sugar, which is fine, um, but it was so good. I just like it when it's not overly sweet because sometimes I feel like when a bubble tea is overly sweet, it's like you're just relying on the sweetness. Um, so definitely one of the milk tea shops here in Melbourne that's up there for me personally. All right, so my cousin and I are gonna go check out um, a cosmetic store at the Emporium, um, but I think I'm gonna end the vlog at that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed coming along with us, trying out some food and some taro milk tea. And then we've got someone photobombing. He wants 15 minutes of fame, obviously. Um, and yeah, if you guys like to see some of the behind the scenes snaps and everything, I'll have it on my Instagram. Life of Ken and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching and catch you next time. Bye